you can do. So please make sure you guys write this down for me. All right, so therefore I can use it, and when you're having questions on this information, I can help you out. So it, we have this system, A plus B equals 20, and A minus B equals 4. Now I gave you guys that worksheet, and I told you guys to write down on, um, I told you guys to write something down on the box. Does anybody remember what I told you to write down on the box? Yes, Iago. Yep, the first box. Exact to solve for. So what I need to do is I need to choose one of my variables. I have two A's and I have two B's up there, but I need to choose a variable that has a one as a coefficient to solve for. So we look up here and we actually got some pickings, right? Every single one of these variables has a coefficient of one or negative one. So we can just pick one. So um, Yesenia, what would you like to pick? No, but which variable would you like to solve for? A, and which equation, the top or the bottom? OK, good. Chase, which one would you pick? OK, so you could pick for the top three. It doesn't matter. Does the, co is the A, does that have a coefficient of 1? Yes. yes, so you can solve for that. Could you solve for the B? Yes, yes because that has a coefficient of 1. It doesn't matter which one you pick. All right, You could either pick even one of these. It doesn't matter. The main important thing is you pick your variable, and then you solve for it. Now, since they did the top two, I'm just going to do the bottom one just because. So I am going to solve for this variable. All right. No. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to to solve it. I'm just going to circle it. So therefore, I have a minus b equals negative four. Now, as I told you on that box to solve for the variable. So how do you solve for a? Yes, you add b. Therefore, we have a equals negative four plus b. But we always usually, just in good form, always like to write the variable first. So we write to write a equals b minus 4. You don't have to rewrite it, but it's just kind of in good habit. So now, if you guys remember, since we know the value of a is equal to the value of b minus 4, these are replaceable with each other, right? Mm -hmm. One can represent the other because they're equal in value. So you mean like a minus 4? So a can equal b minus 4. Yes, they're the same thing. So what I'm going to do is, since I already solved for this equation, I'm now going to plug in my value of a into my other equation. So it looks like this. b minus 4 plus b equals 20. So what I did is I took the value of a which was b minus 4. And rather than writing a, I wrote b minus 4. Now, why would I do such a thing? The reason why I would do that is because when I do that, I eliminated the a, right? When you look at this equation now, there is no more a. The only variable is b. And can you guys solve an equation with one variable? Yes. Yes. Right, so, well, think about what is the why do we have the parentheses? Right, well, we're, yeah, because we substitute it in. But really, in this problem, do we need to keep the parentheses? No. No. A lot of times, we always tell you whenever you substitute in to put parentheses, because a lot of times we'll have like distributed property or something we'll have to use. So that's why you always want to put parentheses in there. But in this case, I don't really need these parentheses anymore. The parentheses aren't doing anything for my problem. So therefore, now I add, combine my like terms, so I get 2b minus 4 equals 24. Add 4. Wait, wait. Yeah. Why did you, add, why did you put 24? Uh, no, no, no. You messed up. Ah, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, got you. I was thinking ahead. So I have 2b minus 4 equals 20. Right? Then you add 4. Divide by 2. Awesome, you got this written down? I mean, we're going to learn different ways to solve, yes? This one's pretty about the basic that you can do. We will work on a shift way. I will show you guys a different way. I'll show you a different way in a second. We'll work on a different way. So, by using the substitution method, 
but as far as the substitution method goes, this is, I mean, the way you do substitution. So therefore, we have b equals 12. However, ladies and gentlemen, remember, we're not, I didn't say, um, Tim, could you be writing this down instead of said? So rather than doing that, you guys say this is b equals 12, right? But we have two variables. So I need to find the value of b, and I need to find the value of a, all right? Courtney. Um, okay, so b equals 12, all right, then we need to find the value of a. So to do that, I need to plug in the value of b into one of these equations. It doesn't matter which one you want to pick. Which one do you want to pick, Vincent? Uh, the bottom. Okay. So therefore, and b now equals a minus 12, because you're going to substitute in the value of b, equals negative 4. So you plug in the value of b in for b into one of those equations. Yes? Yep. Can you plug in both for that b? Yeah, absolutely. So mm -hmm. And that's usually probably the easiest way because you already have 12, you already have a solved, right? And let's just see if that works. So a minus 12 equals negative 4. You add the 12 and you get a equals 8. Right, exactly. And that's the easier way to do it. Um, just plug it in. So therefore, you say your solution solution is A equals 8 and B equals 12. All right, and that's it.